if I'm like, oh, I have misophonia, and then she's like, seriously, like misophonia? Like it sounds so <laughs> dumb. Hey guys, it's Kristen. So for today's video, um, I'm gonna be touching on a, I guess a medical or mental illness. I don't know what to really call it, but I've thought about uh, making this video for quite some time and I keep like not making it because I feel like people are gonna watch this and be like, she's just making stuff up or whatever. But pretty much as you can tell by the title, um, I believe that I have something called misophonia. All right, so I'm actually editing the video and I realized that I'm saying misophonia, which it does list it as an option as a way to say it, but it looks like more people say it as misophonia. And I don't really know, but I say it as misophonia. So that's how you're gonna hear me say it throughout the video. Really, there's no, way to diagnose it 100 percent it is labeled as self-diagnosed and that's what i'm doing so i'm gonna read you like the definition of misophonia um so it says a strong reaction to specific sounds misophonia may cause a reaction to sounds such as dripping water chewing snapping gum or repetitive noises such as a pencil tapping now here's the thing i know a lot of you are like that annoys me too that annoys like pretty much anybody like some of those things but it's to the extent of what it annoys me it's not just like oh that's annoying it will literally change my mood where I can be like in such a good mood and then if these certain noises keep happening over and over like let's say and I'll give you examples later but like one is whistling so like I can get I'll just feel myself getting like kind of annoyed and like not angry but like getting to angry where I'm like please freaking stop doing that um, and then if something else happens like in a short period of time So let's say now someone's like popping their gum constantly like two minutes after someone else was just whistling It's just like my anger starts to build and build and build and build until I get to a point where I can actually like be in a really bad mood and just like pissed off um, so it says it's very rare it says 200,000 cases um, or less per year are like self-diagnosed or whatever there isn't lab testing for it um, it says it is chronic it can last for years or be a lifelong thing I don't know if it's considered an illness or d disease I don't know what they call it it just says are you suffering from misophonia so it says here it is not classified as a hearing or psychiatric disorder it just says again it's a hatred or dislike of certain sounds I believe that I've had this now for a long time but I didn't even know what it was I just came across it about a year ago I was trying to find out why I was reacting so negatively um, and why I was having like my mood and stuff was changing like based off of sounds I was like why do I get so annoyed with certain things so anyways I started doing all this research I just started googling like get annoyed by sounds get irritable by sounds like sounds annoy me blah, blah blah and I was like nothing's gonna come up and literally every single time I searched that misophonia came up immediately and I was like what is misophonia and I'm like I can't go around telling people I have misophonia like this is stupid but just the more I read about it the more I researched it I was like convinced that I had that every single little thing I've read doctors um, you know like blogs and articles about it and just like um, read things that other people have posted about it and I don't think I have like a super severe because I know there's some people where like they have very severe cases um, but I just oh my god sounds just and it's both positive and negative so I now have started to learn how to deal with those type of things and like my family knows certain sounds like will trigger me so like Matt I feel so bad he loves whistling and I can't stand it. I mean, literally, he can whistle one time and I'll be like, stop, stop, don't even start. Like, it, like, that's how bad it is. And I feel bad because, like, I'm like, okay, listen, you can whistle your little heart out when you're at work, when you're driving at home, whatever. I was like, please just don't do it around me. Like, it makes me crazy. Um, and then the other night, my son had come back from vacation and his suitcase was sitting next to him and he was like playing with the zipper and he was like flicking the two zipper pieces together. And I instantly, like, we're in conversation, but now that I know that I have this, you know, this problem, I try really hard to ignore certain things or, like, not, because I don't want to keep burdening other people with it. But the second he started doing it, that's all I could pay attention to. So we're, like, in conversation, and I'm kind of, like, yeah, listening to the conversation, but all I hear is ding, ding, ding. ding that, and, I'm, and I let it go for about 30 seconds, and I just looked over, and I was like, can you please stop doing that? Like I tried really hard to not, you know, like yell at him or anything like that. So some of the other things, I try to take some video of like things that, um, other things that I've come across that on a normal person might not even notice it. And for me, that's all I 
can think about is this noise that's making me crazy. So one is we have these wooden toggles on our blinds. So when we have windows open and the wind starts going, I have to make sure that the blinds are pulled a certain way where the toggle is like above the window or I have to like lift it up and put it on the window because this is what it does. Whistling is just a no, do not, I hate whistling so much. Popping gum, dogs barking, which I know most people, but like, again, it's to the extent where it's not just annoying me, I literally become angry. All right, just wanted to jump back in again because I remembered some other things that really bug me that I forgot to mention in the video. Um, one is when we're at the grocery store or any store and someone's dragging their feet and it's making that like sliding noise from their shoe on the ground. Also, Matt is a very light um, snorer. Like he doesn't, it's almost like a heavy breathing. But to me, it sounds like it's the loudest snoring in the world. So I usually have to sleep with um, earplugs in because just even that light snore will keep me awake and I can't think about anything but, but the fact that he's snoring. Even just normal things like tapping a pencil, someone jingling with their keys, tapping their foot, smacking gum. Um, same with kids crying. Oh my God. I don't know how I survived with my children growing up because the kids crying thing is probably one of my top like things that aggravate me. Like it is probably the number one thing. We're in a restaurant and someone starts crying and I'm like, oh dear God. Like airplanes, like anything, kids, even kids, ugh, this is bad too. Even kids just having fun. The constant laughing, like if they are laughing for like just non-stop for like five minutes. I'm like, God, please go somewhere else and do that. Like the noise just makes me just, I can't stand it. So just a couple other things about this really quick. Um, sound sensitivity can be common among individuals with OCD, anxiety disorders, or Tourette syndrome. I also feel like I have a little bit of OCD. When the kids were younger and they used to play, I used to clean up their toys as they were playing because I couldn't stand like the mess that they were making. I've gotten way better. But when the house does get really messy and there's stuff lying around, like I will start getting really anxious and like, I just don't like it, like I just need the house to be clean. So I do feel like I might have some like minor OCD stuff. Really there is no like treatment for it. It says the only thing you can do for treatment is to like go to a counselor and just like try to get your anxiety and your OCD out under control and try to like be more aware of sounds and I, things like that. But it, there isn't really like a way to treat it to make it go away as far as what I've read. So I'm hoping that like as I, you know, when you grow out, like you start liking foods that you never liked before, or you might like music you, you didn't like before or whatever. So I'm hoping I'm gonna grow out of it at some point, but this has been going on already for years um, because I remember seven years ago, something like that, when my I went over to my cousin's house and she had like a baby and um, like a, a little toddler or whatever and they were like running, she had like a, um, a layout where it went like kitchen, dining room, living room, kitchen, you know, like that. And they were just running and running and running and I was getting really mad and we ended up getting into a fight, my cousin and I, because I was like kept asking, I was like, can you make them like go downstairs? Can you make them go somewhere else? And she was like, they're just being kids, they're just having fun. And it was making me so mad and like we got into like an argument about it and it was totally my thing, like, it, her, she's right, they are just being kids and stuff, but I was not reacting to it very well. So this has been going on for years. Um, so my hope of getting rid of it soon is, you know, I don't think that's gonna happen, so I'm just starting to learn how to deal with it, like myself, because it's me, it's not other people, it's my issue. I have started, I would say over the last couple months, i have like, you know what? I just need to have headphones with me 24 seven. They need to be in my car, in my purse, in my office, in the bedroom, wherever. It, I need, it's almost like my chapstick. Like I have chapstick everywhere. Now I have headphones everywhere. So if I go to like my cousin's house or a friend's house that has a lot of kids and I know there's gonna be a lot of kids there and we might be just hanging out and relaxing, whatever. Um, I bring headphones because when all the kids are screaming and yelling and stuff like that, like, I don't react to it the same way as other people. Like it will, I will, I don't want to be in a bad mood. I'm supposed to be like hanging out with my friends and stuff and that's what it does. I will get into a really bad mood and just want to leave. So headphones are like my lifesaver right now. Music really helps me quite a bit, but I do have to, I've created certain playlists um, because when I'm in that state of mind, even like music that I would normally love for working out or when I'm pumped up and stuff, when I'm in that state of mind, that music makes it so much worse. Like I, I get, more aggravated so I have playlists which is like some meditation um, anything that's like low mellows or very calming music where there's not a lot of high pitch low pitch high pitch you know it's all like almost like monotone type of music like that's the stuff I have to listen to that keeps me very mellow and calm so 
Anyways, I just wanted to make this video because it's just something that um, is a big part of my life at the moment. I don't know if other people have even heard of this and I thought maybe if you're like me and you know, you're not just the average like, oh, a dog barking, yeah, that's kind of annoying, but it's more like the dog is barking, like you're gonna go insane. Like that is something different than just, you know, like a tapping pencil, like, oh, can you stop doing that? Ha ha ha, whatever. Like it makes me so mad. So if you guys are feeling like that and you have those same reactions to noises, um, whether, you know, like positive noises and negative noises, like anything noise related, if it changes your mood, changes your personality, you could have misophonia. Um, so I've just gotten to a point where I don't go around telling people like, oh, I have misophonia. Like, like I don't advertise it, you know, like in public or whatever. I just, um, if it comes up, then I sometimes mention it because when my mom was here on vacation, the dogs were barking and she was like, just leave it alone. And I, I couldn't for like 15 minutes. All I could think about was that the dogs were barking. And I was like, we have bark collars for them now because I, I can't stand it. And then the neighbor dog was barking and our dogs were barking and I was trying to get them to stop. And she's like, just let them bark. It's fine. They're just dogs, whatever. And she didn't understand. Cause I really haven't even really told anyone in my family. There's like a couple people and like a couple friends that know, but like, I was kind of afraid to tell her because like, if I'm like, oh, I have misophonia. And then she's like, seriously, like misophonia. Like it sounds so <laughs> dumb. So I just don't tell people. But in that moment I had to tell her, I was like, listen, I can't ignore it because it's making me really angry and frustrated and stressed out. And I was like, I have to make it stop. Like I can't ignore it. Like you need to understand, like just saying, just ignore it. It doesn't work for me. Matt says that to me all the time. And I'm like, listen, you know, I can't ignore it. So I had to tell her in that moment, but I felt like so weird and silly telling her. But yeah, so I just thought that, you know, making this might help somebody else out there or maybe bring more awareness. I know that sounds really weird too, but yeah. So I'm pretty sure I have misophonia and uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I just feel like I rambled for like 15 minutes about this really odd, weird thing. All right, last time I'm jumping in, I promise, I did forget to mention um, that Katie Morton is um, a psychologist therapist. I'm not exactly sure what her title is, um, but she does a lot of videos on YouTube about mental health, and I didn't realize, but she had done a video on misophonia um, years ago, and she explains it really well, and watching that, like I literally felt like she was talking about me. Like exactly what she talks about in the video is exactly how, what my mental state is, is how I feel about the sounds and things like that. So I'm gonna link that below if you guys wanna check it out. Um, if you guys have any questions about this, um, about like maybe other things that I have reactions to, or if you think you might have this, like I've been researching this for a while now, so I feel like I'm pretty up to speed on what this is. Um, feel free to leave me comments below. But that's it for today's video. So I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit this bell so you're alerted when I upload a new video. And I'll talk to you later. Peace.